Ralph Lauren needs no introduction as a designer, visionary, or philanthropist. For over 50 years, he's been selling the American dream through his many clothing lines, watches, fragrances, and homeware. But he also has one of the most stylish automotive collections in the world. And Rob Report recently took an exclusive tour around his private garage. Here are six of our favorite vehicles, owned and treasured by Ralph Lauren. As collectors try to guess which car might be the next Ferrari 250 GTO in both value and stature, many are pointing to the groundbreaking McLaren F1, introduced in 1992. The British Mark's first production car carries a 620 horsepower, 6.1 liter V12 that delivers a top speed of 240 miles per hour and the ability to go zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. The output was so great, the engine bay had to be lined with gold to dissipate the heat. Like all of the cars in Ralph Lauren's collection, the McLaren F1 LM is a rare beast. It's a more track-focused version, though still street legal, made to commemorate that year's win at Le Mans. Six examples were built, one to honor each of the five cars in the race, plus a prototype. The Sultan of Brunei ordered three. Mr. Lauren acquired his at auction in 2004. Arguably the most eye-catching automobile ever built, this extraordinary Bugatti is likely also the car most associated with Ralph Lauren. The vehicle's breathtaking lines are matched by its performance, thanks to a 3.3-liter straight-eight engine that allows for a top speed of more than 124 miles per hour. Designed by founder Ettore Bugatti's son, Jean, only four examples were made. Jean's own car disappeared 85 years ago, and another has been rebuilt with a number of new components after an accident. This one, chassis number 57591, is among the two remaining in original form. And what a form it is. Ferrari's La Ferrari was a new automotive benchmark when it debuted in 2013. The 950 horsepower model not only had more power than any production car Maranello had built before it, but it was the automaker's first to use hybrid technology. Its powertrain was developed from Formula One and includes a 161 horsepower electric motor along with the 789 horses from the naturally aspirated V12, all managed by a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. That translates to hitting 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds on the way to a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Each of LaFerrari's 499 examples, priced around 1.5 million when new, were offered on an invite-only basis to select clients. Ferraris feature heavily in Lauren's collection, but in the sea of red prancing horses in his garage, this black-on-black -black 2015 LaFerrari stands out in every possible way. As its name suggests, Jaguar's XK120 has a top speed of 120 miles per hour, which meant it left every other road car in the dust when it came on the scene in 1948. This was made possible by the car's dual overhead cam 3.4 liter straight six, paired with a four-speed manual gearbox that sent the Roadster from zero to 60 miles per hour in 10 seconds. Extremely quick for the time, but that output was arguably eclipsed by the elegant, athletic bodywork penned by Jaguar founder, Sir William Lyons. One of the things that marks Ralph Lauren's collection is the level of personalization that he adds to his cars. This works Roadster from 1950, for example, was originally red, but Ralph had other ideas. He created his own shade of green for the car, using more olive than the traditional racing green. Lauren has always been inspired by film and the golden age of Hollywood, so maybe the fact that both Clark Gable and Humphrey Bogart owned XK120s had something to do with why Lauren picked this one up in 1985. Or maybe it was just that it's one of the most gorgeous cars in the world. This is the last model that Enzo Ferrari lived to see released. The F40 not only celebrated his Mark's 40th anniversary, but was also the fastest production car in the world at the time, 
Featuring a tubular steel chassis draped in 11 composite body panels, the 80s era supercar housed a mid-mounted twin-turbo V8 with 471 horsepower and 426 pound-feet of torque. With that brawn, the F40 punches from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and tops out at 201 miles per hour. Not surprisingly, when it came on the market in 1987, the F40 was Ferrari's most expensive model to date. Unlike many of the cars in Lauren's collection, he purchased this particular one, brand new, in 1991. Rumor has it that at one point he considered selling it, but his kids persuaded him not to. If that's true, it's not just Lauren Sr. who has an eye for an appreciating asset. Part Roadster, part Batmobile, part automotive art form. This Mercedes is a spectacular piece of engineering by Ferdinand Porsche. Yes, that Porsche, and it was one of 33 manufactured from 1928 through 1932. The model's short wheelbase and supercharged 7-liter straight-six engine made it a favorite in early motorsport. The car's sweeping Art Deco coachwork was the vision of Count Carlo Felice Trussi, a famed racer of the early 20th century who drove for the likes of Alfa Romeo under Enzo Ferrari and Mercedes-Benz. Exquisite in both form and function, his automotive namesake has been in Lauren's collection since 1988 and has subsequently earned best of show at Villa de Este and Pebble Beach. Oh, oh, oh.